You know, I have a fascination with console sales and I like to analyze them because I'm a nerd. But some people only seem to look at surface level and don't go any further, a common trait amongst most dipshits everywhere. When people do this, they irrationally draw conclusions and make assumptions from information that doesn't really give a single indication of something as grand as they think. It's time I help give those people some perspective on the issue because I'm nice like that. Both the PS4 and Xbox One have been out for about one and a half months. As such, we know how well the consoles have been selling respectively. Based on VG charts, as of December 21st, 2013, the PS4 has sold 3.4 million units worldwide, with the Xbox One selling 2.4 million units worldwide. It's also important to remember that neither console is released in Japan, which will likely lengthen the gap between the PS4 and Xbox One, since Xbox straight up doesn't have a market in Japan, and anybody who says otherwise is a fucking liar. Those are the facts right now. Over the last few weeks, I've seen a ton of articles and videos from major publications making ridiculous comparisons and assumptions. It's time to debunk those. A lot of websites have compared the sales of the consoles to their equivalents from the 7th generation, and are saying that because a PS4 is selling much faster than the PS3 did, it's automatically going to do better than the PS3. Why would someone think they're smart for assuming that? I mean, everybody has to have something, but these guys need to reevaluate whether they should keep spewing shit or not. For starters, initial sales can't really tell you how successful a console will be over an entire generation. That's almost undeniable. The 360 was kicking the PS3's ass at the beginning, but by the end, the PS3 outsold the 360, so shit can change over time. More specifically to the issue, games have become more mainstream with every new generation, attracting casuals to gaming, so they're probably going to be pretty successful at launch, and most of them will probably sell better than their predecessors purely because there's a bigger market. This happens every time, you don't need to be smart to know this. But at the same time, these guys need to realize that pre-orders weren't really a thing in 2006. Initial sales for games are typically sky high now, because it's almost common practice for people to just pre-order stuff. So, they'll drop off fast in a couple of weeks. The same will probably apply for the consoles. Now, if you're a complete fucking moron, you may say that the PS4 is already winning the console war because it's selling faster than the Xbox One at launch. First off, one month out of an entire generation is minute, and it can't tell you anything about the future of either console outside of maybe the first year or two. Also, the actual sales of the consoles don't mean a thing if the company isn't moving software. This is crucial. Consoles are often sold at a loss. As a result, the big three make money through all the games on their respective systems, not just exclusives. This means you can't even fathom what new games could be released on the consoles four or five years down the line that could boost sales of the consoles, essentially altering the successfulness of the consoles drastically. All these figures can tell you now is that the PS4 is outselling the Xbox One. That's about it. You may be able to extract a little bit more from the information in the short term, but making predictions five years in advance based on a month's worth of data for a highly erratic industry is absurd and just stupid. For those of you who make these assumptions, just chill out and play the games. Don't try to interpret figures that you don't understand in a pathetic attempt to seem smart. It just makes you look like an even bigger tool.